Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Genshin Impact. Oh, by golly, Gun Jung Lee, always just a filthy al alcoholic talking about fucking wine and alcohol. Jesus Christ, but ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, like I said to, of course, Genshin Impact. So, I'm so excited to bring this to you because, oh my god, <laughs> it took such a long time to farm, and of course it happened where I only needed one more thing, and I wasn't being picky. Um, and it just refused to drop the last artifact to perfect a full HP build. Now, before we even get into this, I know this is not the ideal way to build Zhang Li, but it's kind of like that for next? me. Yes, it's not the ideal way to build him per se, although for me, I think it is. And I'll let you guys know about that in my circumstance in a second here. But in this video, guys, we're going to be testing out how Zhang Li scales with just really, really high HP. Is this the ideal set up in terms of even just going for an HP build, do I get HP on every single substat? Not really, because I feel like for what I'm going for, it kind of has a little bit of diminishing returns. So first things first, um, Zhong Li has many different things of how he kind of gets scaled, so let's go over that. So essentially Zhong Li, um, he has things within his kit as well as things within his exact talent, um, such as this, um, Dominus Lapidus, love the name of that, it's crazy, <laughs> but when we do our hold ability, um, uh, Zhong Li shoots out a bunch of geo damage and then pulls in and uses it as a shield more or less um, it is also a geo shield so it has extra resistance to that but right there it says absorb scales based on Zhong Li's max HP not only that but it scales off of the amount of enemies you actually hit um, so up, up to I think three enemies so this thing becomes if you happen to hit three enemies it becomes ridiculously tanky but if you if you also happen to have a pretty good amount of HP then it's going to scale even more so um, and I'm not sure exactly what the thing yet yeah, right here it says additional shield um, absorption is plus 17% now actually I do think if you increase that um, yeah it goes up to plus 19% so the higher you get this thing skill the more of your HP is going to be put into that in fact if you get that up to 20% that's gonna be pretty damned mean um, but of course it's about getting these things to drop which is a nightmare to put it Bluntly, <laughs> but anyways, if you can get that up to that point, that's gonna be pretty absolutely wild, um, and all that stuff. Also, you're just increasing the uh, pillars damage as well, just a nice passive buff. Good to have it, all that stuff. But our shield right now, if that is to be believed, but I'm not sure if that accounts for our. Yeah, it says shield's base absorption. Yeah, so it's at uh, our base absorption is 2,000 without um, acc accruing our max HP. I think. Um, let's see, it's 2,000, we can actually do some. It's 2,000 something right there. So if we take off all of our artifacts, I'll be back. Yeah, so it's still 2,000, so that doesn't, that, that's not taking into consideration our max HP. Awesome. Uh, now, you guys may be like, well, Grin, why are you going to your artifacts? And I'd be like, hey, hey, don't jump ahead of me. <laughs> all right? Jeez. <laughs> anyway, uh, one more thing he has in his talents, which is equally good to build him in HP. Is it ideal? No, but it's something. But it's his alt. Uh, once you get him to, I believe, uh, rank 60 or 70 or something like that, um, you get access to his final passive, essentially, um, which is your alt will attain 33% of Zheng Li's max HP. Pretty solid. Really solid, actually. Um, now, this would lean you to believe that Zheng Li should absolutely be built for HP, right? Well, yeah. Kinda. Um, if you're wanting to, of course, uh, build him for complete support, but there are two ways to kind of build him for support. There's a way to build him for like unending god level shield, or make it rain with mediators with meteors with physical damage and of course um, recharge. I don't have him built for that. I think it'd be cool to build him for that uh, at some point. But for right now, the reason why I'm trying to make Zhongli Li um, have the thickest shield on the planet is because of why and how I'm building him. I'm building him because in my party currently, I have zero, zero ways of regenerating my health outside, of course, of food. But other than that, nothing. And I can report that this is perfectly, and I mean perfectly, fine um if the only thing that me messes it up is user error if i sometimes like get too caught up in trying to build up razors um alt or whatever by slashing and stuff like that then yeah i get smacked a little bit and that's the issue is that like with in a world where you have zero healing zero you eventually will get worn out unless you're just super conscious about doing this pop and then you're good you're good to go now on a passive my Zhongli li has 35 HP, uh, which is pretty is nuts. Now, um, the reason why his HP is so high is because in the three, well, first of all, HP can scale off of your flower, awesome, 
but also you can get an HP percentage stat on the base, which is super good because you can level it up to a crazy high level always. Um, the like base HP stat, also my camera probably went transparent or I'm somewhere on the screen. But you can get a HP sub stat in both your watch or timer, your goblet, and of course your crown. Um, you can get all of them into those three stats. So of course I did, but it was a pain in the ass because I wanted, I wanted the summer's nights bonus, which is essentially getting a 35 extra shield on whatever you're summoning or whoever you're summoning with a shield. So just crazy good uh, benefit to that. So yes, it scales off of our, H our HP, but this thing also increases our shield strength by a lot as well. Um, so it scales off of your HP, the hitting multiple enemies, and it's getting a 35% buff to base shields. Which the way percentages work in this game, you're always going to want to go for percentage rather than the substat of like like uh, 18 or 20 extra attack. Rather, you want 10% bonus attack, if that makes any sense, which it's kind of complicated. But unfortunately, when I was leveling this thing up, I only got defense. Um, I got a little bit of attack, and then I got a little bit of a, just base attack, not attack percentage, and I got the smallest amount of regen. Yeah, it's not great. I wish. I think I maybe even have a. I do have a better one like this one. Um, yeah, this one's pretty pretty stacked. But again, it's attack, and this is what I would build him for whenever I do most likely build him for just straight up attack. Although I think I'd rather build him for physical damage um, on one of my. Uh, cups so yes or you can't i brought i built him for a recharge then anyways sorry <laughs> uh, next thing so this is the other goblet i got another 46 percent buff pretty solid to our hp um i got energy recharge pretty decent attack uh, we lucked out on this for whatever reason you know it was funny because i got defense there and i was like oh my god should i roll on this i mean i don't want to grind for another cup so i was like sure and lo and behold this thing just kept going attack attack it barely went into defense ever and i was just like I didn't know this was possible, so it's maybe worth banking on the ones with even some bad stats. But anyways, then we got even more HP with this one. Um, and of course, this one was less lucky, we got defense, but we also got a pretty decent amount of recharge, as well as more defense, yuck. But also Elemental Mastery up to 80. That's pretty damn good with Elemental Mastery um, on a substat. Um, and this is HP, HP, HP. So that is why we have an ungodly amount of, you guessed it, HP. Now, does this scale as well, like I said, um, for like you building attack? No, because his alt actually scales off of physical damage, I believe, as well as base attack, as well as alt damage. So, not necessarily what you're wanting to build him for in this regard, but it is if you want to make him a super, super good support, essentially making anybody unkillable forever as long as you're able to stay on top of them skills. And as long as you're not taking on an enemy and just literally sitting there and being like, fuck me up. And even then, you can put up a hell of a fight. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, let's go test Zhong Li's absurdity of how insane his shield is and can be uh, by doing a myriad of things. Let's go do the Devalin fight and just get smashed and see how, how long we can last. Um, and then we're going to go do a bunch of other things. This is literally just trying to showcase how nutty his shield can be when you have fully built it. And again, I think that at a certain point there are diminishing returns. Absolutely. Um, also, this is not even the max potential of that potential because I don't have Dominus Lapinus, that talent, his E ability, actually maxed out. And every single time you level that thing up, you get more and more of his HP converted to, of course, shield, which is absolutely nutty. By the way, we're going to be doing the highest tier of Devon we possibly can, which I believe is 90. So my characters are allowed level 80, which means we'll be taking more damage. Oh, or sorry, we'll, we'll go and fight uh, some other person that's like that. We'll go do a domain where enemies are level 90 so that you guys can see how. Um, but yes, I do believe he can tank just about everything. Um, and again, he can do that on a passive, but um, if you happen to build him with HP, he can do that forever. Like, you just sit in it and just stay in the hell of it. Also, you can switch other characters. And again, everyone's super, super safe. It's like, come at me, Damalin! Smack me in the face! Do some crazy shit! Feel like I'm a masochist or a sadist, but not masochist. Also, we're gonna pop this again. Um, I shouldn't have done that because now we can't see if his shield broke or not, but we'll let him do it again. I want to see how long we can stay in his, his ice because I know you can do it for a good good bit, but let's see. Let's reapply his shield just to because I feel like it's about to go away. Okay, no, now we're getting hit. Okay, so that lasted... Honestly, <laughs> well, that's one of the highest damage-like things in the game, but I wish it would have lasted a little bit longer for that. But everything else, like anything that's not supposed to be like a guaranteed uh, fuck you up kind of thing, also 
That's unfortunate. I didn't time it properly. But anyways. <laughs> also, our base attack is like nothing because we don't have our attack built up for anything. But also, that's what a lot of people say you shouldn't do. So, built in for attack. I mean, he's going to come Trump try, uh, flying in. We're fine. Uh, I just keep casting his ability because I don't want to go away because it lasts 15 seconds. But, but yeah. I think, actually, I probably have a lot of time. Anyways, hit me. Fudoosh. I mi He missed. Shit. I was literally standing still, my guy. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with that? Come on. Hit me. Do it again. Well, this one's kind of... This one's kind of fucky. But yeah. That does not a bad amount of damage. Not, not like 80,000, which is what some people can build, uh, build him for. Also, we can stand in this and be fine. Again, you don't want to like sleep in it, though. <laughs> or else you're going to get smashed. Here we go. I got hit by it. Nothing. See, nothing. Absolutely nothing. He's eventually going to make the ground on fire, though, and it's going to be a whole thing. Also, you can double down on shields. Now, that is something to consider, though, is for whatever reason, his shield is layered underneath everything. So, it would be really, really overpowered if you could actually activate Zheng Li's shield and then activate hers. That way, you would get the, d the density of Zheng Li's shield and the awesomeness of hers, which is like a constant damage or fire proc. Um, which I think, honestly, wouldn't be that overpowered. In fact, yeah, we're about to break his shield and I've literally done nothing. Also, you can always dodge out of that attack. But anyways, you guys get the point. It's a pretty nuts. Most of his attacks are just null and void. That's not exactly the problem. Also, with Devon's fighter, should add this. Uh, I already fought him this week. You can act absolutely activate his shield. Um, and in the damage over time effect on the ground, that like dot will do nothing to you. Um, if you have that shield up. So you could do that if you're like, maybe you're not... Maybe you have Zhong Li, but you don't have a lot of damage. You can wear out that enemy just by constantly applying this and making sure you're dodging because the damage over time effect on the ground from his fire roar and other stuff can compound and fuck you up a little bit. So be careful with that. But let's head over to. Let's go fight Wolf. Let's go fight Wolfie. Also, check out these wings. Yeah, I finally leveled up all of Leeway, dude. <laughs> Amped. I'm sorry I showed you on on uh, on him and not and not our boy uh, Zhong Li. Let's quickly do that. Look at our immaculate boy, boom! Look at them fire wings, those beautiful golden wings. Oof! Can I do this? I even know I've already done it this week? Oh. What? <laughs> well, you have to you have to believe me. <laughs> also, I should have done this beforehand. Um, I should have showed you guys his actual attributes. Uh, so we go here, we go to details. Um, you guys can see that I'm not built for crit or nothing like that at all. So forgive me, it's just how it is. Uh, I got no healing. I do got a pretty good amount of energy recharge just on my passive talents, just luckily, um, which is nuts. Again, if you want even more, like 100, 130 is pretty good. Like, you can get your ult back pretty fast. I noticed that with him. Even though we're just built with the substats, I got lucky on just getting a good, better, good bit of regen. Also, we're getting that 15 uh, geo damage, which turns into 36 because we already, I think it's he gets a passive buff for geo damage. Physical damage, he also gets a buff on. Awesome. Um, as well as, I think he has something else here, which is physical, or a powerful shield. You have 35% a bonus on the shield thing. Love it. Uh, but those are his uh, initial attributes. Um, I'm sorry I can't show you everything else. Um, I guess we could go do the child fight. The child fight was actually. To be honest, that one was rough. I, I was shocked that that one, like, did me in so badly. But it did. Uh, so that one I can show you, I think. This is Domain. Fortunately, I can't show you the wolf. Sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, no. I remember that the child fight being shockingly, annoyingly hard. <laughs> because Well, not annoyingly hard. It, again, you're far better. It's just I'm the dummy who's not using any healer. So even if you had, like, a any other... Even a person who does really bad healing, it still would be enough to be something, you know? But yes, also this one is level 80. I wish I could uh, show you guys more um, high level play, uh, like at level 90. We will be able to do a domain at level 90, um, but uh, we can't do these ones, unfortunately, at level 90, because we're not there yet. We're not at level 50 yet, thank God. This opportunity is quite hard to come by. Anyways, we're going to do this. So hit us. Is a valid option. I should let him hit us, sorry, I'm used to dodging. My shield's still fine. Those those attacks hit so hard. The point is, is if I can somehow... There it is. It, it popped. Um, the point is, is if I can survive long enough to, like, pop my shield again. Also, Child is just an asshole right now. <laughs> He's not playing, playing the part at all. Also, this is the fight that everyone wanted to see. Child versus Zhong Li. Not my dumb ass character <laughs> doing anything. Okay, no, no, okay, so yeah, so that, that's what I mean. Sometimes, like, if you just sit in his attacks, they just melt you. Yeah, but again, it's not that hard to dodge his attacks, and it's only whenever you're going in for a damage phase to where I can switch to Razor, start fucking them up, and actually, like, dealing good bits of damage. Like, this whole time, I can actually tank. 
Um, but yeah, again, a lot of his attacks, at least his water phase, fucks up Geo for whatever reason. His electric phase, we're absolutely good because I also have a Razor, who whenever Razor uses his ult, he can become super resistant to, uh, to lightning. So we can just literally stay in the hell of it, which is a beautiful thing. But yeah, again, this is the build that I'm kind of running with, is Zhongli protects Razor. Also, let's see if this can do it. I don't know if this could do it. Badoosh! Absolutely safe! How come that, we can survive that, but not the other thing? That's so weird. Yeah, how come his, like, arrow from above fucks me up so badly, but everything else is kind of mundane? That's shocking. I can't, I thought that would definitely take my shield, but it didn't. But yeah, like, see, this is, this is what the ideal thing is, if you weren't just sitting there taking damage, but you'd at least be, like, sidestepping, so that you can get on top of him faster, do, reapply this. And if you, if you wanted to get a little bit crazier, you could activate your ult and just tear him up. And again, we can survive enough of his melee attacks to where we can actually do pretty damn good. And right now he's about to go into his final phase, and he's damaged. Um, we're going to recharge that. We're also going to do this, so we can keep building up our charge. Our shield is still up, mind you, which is absolutely lovely. We're going to do one of these. We're going to do one of these. We're also going to double down on this. And fuck him up this way. Until we get our thing back. And again, when you deal enough, when you deal enough impact damage, you actually can sit there and juggle <laughs> our boy. I almost have my ult back. This should do it. And this should give us a. Pr now I have a resistance to electricity, so we should absolutely be able to tear him up. And again, his other phase will equally be as as easy as this. So yeah, the idea like the support capabilities are nuts. Like how you're supposed to use him, not just sit there and be like. Hit me! <laughs> Fuck me up! And of course, you're gonna eventually get popped. But even if you're just sidestepping and playing genuinely pretty bad, you're gonna be fine. I have to watch all this. Fuck. Shit. I know some people can, like, skip it. Since I play with controller, it's like, you don't get to do that, filth. And I'm like, fine. <laughs> Jeez. Alright! I don't wanna fight it! Stop! Leave! There we go. Uh, Alright, now we're gonna go to actually a level 90. So this is something where we're gonna be pretty, uh, kinda undergeared. Whenever you're, like, a lower substat, whenever you're melee weapon and your character lower substats, or levels, sorry, uh, then the characters you're fighting, they get, you get an inherent damage debuff as well as they get an, a damage buff as well. So, uh, let's go fight in a domain I actually need to farm today. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, but it's right up top here, right this one. I'm trying to farm Venti's relics because yeah, I just want to get that done and out of the way. By the way, it's sad. I want to farm. I want to farm for the Rocker Girls fire set, but I can't. I'm just such a bitch <laughs> because that that domain specifically nerfs you if you have if you deal electricity damage. I just can't deal enough damage fast enough. So I really hope some of you guys on stream will take pity on me and help me do that. If you happen to have any sort of like other DPS, like a Chun Yung who's who's leveled up or anything because boy am i just getting my head kicked in in that domain i'm um, say that okay th that's a little nuts that's physical damage buff to 75 that probably counteracts our debuff uh, of being lower level and all that kind of stuff um now we also did get smacked a little bit uh because of uh us fighting child and actually just trying to soak in damage uh, but this should be a little bit better of a showcase and this we're actually gonna play we're not gonna try to like shit the bed and on purpose and fuck up <laughs> and, like try to get hit we're gonna wait for these people to come down. That probably should be good. We're gonna freeze them because it's just a waste if we don't use that. We're gonna switch to you and just smash, smash, slash, smash, smash, and smash. We still got our, our shield, and our shield can tank a few of his shots, but of course, because that guy is special, he uh, he hurts real bad uh, uh, for good reason. Now, I, okay, I hate that though. Let's not focus on the electric girl first because she's immune to my element, so it'll be a little less good. She's like a pervy Lisa. <laughs> you never thought never thought about it, but that's exactly what's down. Let's go do this. Also, let's do uh why aren't you coming into this? Well, that's a waste. Anyways, we'll do this. Actually, let's wait until you come over here. I don't know why you're being weird. Anyways, let's do this. Activate our shield, because it should be up now. And now we got electricity and all that stuff popping off, so we should just get extra hurt. Perfect. Well, let's deal with you first, because she's just too, too wily. Great! Why did that not hit him? <laughs> what happened there? Also, let's reapply our shield. He took it, and then we <laughs> immediately reapplied it. Love it. Let's also activate our ult, because um, you'll just get melted from that. Doesn't matter if you hit me, I can still tank that because of the shield. Uh, and yes, I am 100% safe in all this. Um, not even a little bit fucked up. 
Uh, and yes, yeah, I did play a little bit poorly there for whatever reason. Venti's all didn't work, or I, I didn't know. Oh wait, what? Okay, that's not good. Yeah, stop, stop. Now, see, now this is the thing that sucks when I'm playing Razor, is because Razor kind of is a weird one to play because you need to stay with his alt. If you switch off his alt, then you're kind of a fish out of water. So that's where things get a little dicey. <laughs> that's why we're a little weak. It's because again, ideally, I would just kill my alt and do this because Razor's alt's pretty easy to build. Um, but me, I'm just like, well, what if I can dodge some of those abilities and be fine? But that's why we're a little weak right now. <laughs> but ideally, if, again, a lot of it's user error. If I'm not switching to him and using his alt in a specific way or his, his shield in a specific way, then yeah. Also, again, you should still probably run a healer. Like Zhongli, I think that's maybe, I don't know, man. I don't know. I was going to say, maybe that's better to run Zhongli um, as well as a healer and then to build Zhongli for, for alt damage, but also to have a healer and all that stuff, you know? Maybe that's as useful. I think it probably is better that way, honestly, just to have a, a healer just going um, and just build Zhong Li for, yeah, you have a little bit of shield, but you also have a hell of a he heavy hitting alt that recharges in seconds. So I feel like that may be best, but I, again, that's not to say that I'm unhappy with what I currently built. I'm very happy with the fact that, again, as long as I put up my shield, everyone who's who's shielded by it's virtually unkillable. Now, which just gives me a nice additive of security and all that stuff. So, absolutely in love with the way he's working as of right now. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you guys do enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, this was Zhongli showcasing him to some extent. Not the perfect amount of showcase, but uh, yes. Um, again, maybe in the future I'll build him for uh, just dropping alts, which I feel like would probably be just more fun just to switch to him and just drop an alt, apply his not great shield, but okay shield, and use maybe v Venti uh, to kind of CC everyone else and all that. Um, and I wish you would just stop talking about fucking wine because God in heaven, <laughs> it's just a stupid. Uh, everyone, everyone, people with Klee, lovely Klee people I have are at their wits end when she starts talking about nonsense. <laughs> Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you guys do enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, let me know if I'm off by something. Again, I do, I'm do. i wondering if there is diminishing returns with HP because it does seem like there are some tax, attacks in the game that just do ludicrous damage because their designers are like, no. You're not supposed to get hit by this at all. It's like a clear circle on the on the ground. If you get in that circle, you're gonna get wrecked. But then we were able to tank the the like the whale smash, you know? So yeah, I don't know. It'd be weird. <laughs> Anyways, hopefully you guys do enjoy the rest of your day. Subscribe button to my right, as well as two videos further that way. Thank you once again and goodbye.